Hello, I'm Sarah Varela in the WUFT Newsroom for Tuesday, January 26. Here's your news in 90. A new budget has been approved for renovations of a park in Lake City. Both Wilson Park and the Lake DeSoto waterfront will be part of the estimated $1.3 million project. The project will include community policing and crime-prone industrial and residential areas. Renovations will begin in the summer of this year. The commander of San Diego's Naval Medical Center says absolutely nothing has been found to indicate that the shots were fired inside of the hospital. Authorities received a single report of three shots fired inside of one of the hospital's buildings this morning. That prompted a swift lockdown of the hospital and the evacuation of everyone inside of it. Officials say there have been a number of sweeps throughout the building and no evidence of a shooting has been found. A New Orleans Sheriff's deputy is in critical condition after being shot five times. 35-year-old Stephen Arnold was working with a DEA task force when the shooting occurred. Arnold was taken to a local hospital where he underwent surgery for two hours after being struck in the neck and four times in his body. Police have one suspect in custody. A suicide bombing in Cameroon killed 32 and wounded, wounded 66 people yesterday. This attack marks one of the worst in, Central Afri in the Central African nation since its struggles with the terrorist group Boko Haram. The bombers targeted, targeted a busy market in the town of Bodu. Although no one has claimed responsibility, Cameroon has been the victim of suicide attacks by Boko Haram. That's your news in 90. Thanks for watching.